going on? Have a great day. Have a great afternoon. And by the way, story time. But before this vlog even starts, be sure to tell your friends to subscribe, like, comment, and share because you know you want to. And here goes another story time. Hi, how are you? Um, so this is gonna be a story about my broke about my sprained hand and how it happened. So this was Saturday, no, Friday, late Friday. This was late Friday. Um, so what happened was I was on the sidewalk, you know, being safe. Um, I was not wearing a helmet, which I know was dumb, and I, and I know, like, people are say, like, oh, helmets are safe, oh, helmets make you look nerdy, and all that stuff, which I can completely understand. Um, I did not hit my head, um, I wasn't paying attention, um, I was on my big scooter, um, just scootering about and stuff like that, enjoying the weather, and I was completely just spaced out, and, and all, and all that happened. I basically am veering off into, you know how there's the street, and there's a green area, and there's the sidewalk? I, I veer off, I fall down, I slide on my elbow, bracing for impact, and I was, eh. first of all, I was in shock, second of all, it hurt like, like I never felt pain like that, ever, like ever. And um, and actually, a nice um, cop actually drive by. Um, uh, I mean, drove by and said, "Are you okay? Do you need an ambulance or anything like that?" She basically gave me a few bandages and and then I cleaned myself up and stuff like that. And she's like, "You should be wearing a helmet, young man." I'm like, "I know, I know. I should be wearing a helmet," which was basically kind of like a go back to writing tickets and stuff like that. And um, I got myself up, I brushed myself off, and I was kind of just like kind of frustrated, um, kind of um, not emotional. Because I didn't even cry. Um, I was just a little bit embarrassed, quite honestly. I was a little embarrassed. Even if there was nobody else around, I was still embarrassed. Um, and then I went back home, I watched on TV, I plugged in my scooter, and the next day, I couldn't really move my hand at all. And I was like, oh, crap. This can only mean one thing. It's neither fractured, broken, or sprained. So I woke up, I put on my clothes, and I went to the ER, which I know, which I should have went to the, the dock in a box, but um, I thought it was more, um, more bad, and I basically went in there, and, and the overweight lady said, your wait time is going to be until 6.30 p.m. I'm just like, huh? 6.30 p.m.? Um, no. I'm out of here. And I left. And then I went to the North Shore Clinic, shot the North Shore Clinic, and I went there. They took all my information and all that stuff. And I was there for like, I don't know, half an hour to an hour. And and the in the Asian doctor said, um, um, kind of turned it one way and did all his doctor things. And then I went for an x ray and the x ray um I didn't get back. Um and the doctor said, do you want the good news or the bad news after the x-ray? Do you want the good news or the bad news? I'm like, uh, 
the good news. The good news is you didn't break it, you didn't fracture it, you sprained it. And I was like, really? He's like, yeah, you sprained, you sprained your hand. And I was like, oh, great. That means I'm going to be in pain for a while. And I'm still in a little bit of pain, but not that much. But now the pain is rifling from here all the way up until when my arm done. <sighs> this is my first ever sprain in 24 years. I've never sprained. I never sprained a leg. I never sprained an arm. I never broken a bone. Um, I do have nerve damage, but that's going to be for a different video. Um, so, yeah, this is my first actual sprain in 24 years of being on this earth. You know, stuff happens, and um, this is the stuff that happened. <laughs> So you guys, that's me, which all appreciate your friends to subscribe and please stay tuned for more story times.